the History Mystery Man here coming to you from Livonia, Indiana, about 10 miles west of Salem. Just happened to, a tiny little town, not much here, but did happen to stumble into this old church established in 1816. At least the Presbyterian Church itself was established then here. I'm not sure about the building, but I can tell by looking at this thing, it is exceptionally, not only beautiful, but super duper old. She's been standing here a long time, and this nice gentleman here has offered to show us around inside. So while we're here, what do you say we take a peek? Gonna, I'm ready. Yeah, for sure. The guy that... Uh, here, you want to see it right there? Okay, yeah, I did, I did notice this. 1816? 1816, that's when the church was established, and I see they've got uh, the 200th anniversary time capsule buried here, buried here to be opened in 20... 66 so 1866 somebody buried something here yep. that i won't make it to 2066 but it sure would be interesting to know what exactly is in there so you were did you tell me this you believe this church was buried or buried huh. well, the church yet. was built when 1856 1856 so that would be five years before the civil war started a place in the back you can see that's lower and they use that to, to make the brick to build the church. Really? Mm -hmm. Like they made the brick behind the church yeah, to, yes. to build the church? Yes. I'll have to take They're a peek at that. The there. They're on the back side of that hillside. Yeah. It's where the bricks was dug, where the clay was dug that made the bricks that built the original church. Oh, it's pretty back here. Big slope going down where they built the brick. Took the clay out of there. Took, oh, I got you. They, they, that's why there's a slope there, or a hill, because they removed the clay from the earth and made the brick to build the church. That's really interesting. Kitchen area. This has got to be a newer section, not part of the original, but that's okay. From, from here forward is original. It's beautiful. Gosh, look at the pews. I bet they reach back. I don't know if they go back to 1856, but they have to go back far. Those are really neat. Beautiful church. Look at all the stained glass. And I mean all the way around. I like this church because it's tiny and small and quaint and comfortable and homey. Those windows uh, yeah. were sent down in Cincinnati. By river and uh, brought here, and then each of the panels were installed around. And the shipmen purchased and, and put them in place, $125 a piece. Where, where are you from, sir? Like South Carolina. Oh, really? Okay. But I live in Louisville. And how did you ever come to be? Are you the pastor of this church? Sure. You are. And how did you come to be that here from? from the Carolinas to, to Louisville to, to here in Livonia, Indiana. I went to seminary, I went to college in North Carolina and went to seminary in Louisville. And then when I was a student in seminary, um, I came to this church as a student pastor. And because it was a small church, I couldn't afford a full-time minister, so they took a student pastor. And that student pastor became ordained, and then I took the church as a state of supply pastor. It'll be 50 years in 2022. Wow. If I can stay. That's incredible. So they'll, they'll That's really interesting. Uh, so I, I think about the time you have spent inside this little church in Livonia, Indiana, over the near 50-year term here. Uh, you've got some time inside these walls. I do. How we interesting. I'll bet. Uh, we call it a full-time service. I baptize you, Mary, and bury you. <laughs> That's a one-stop shop. Yeah, one-stop shop. 24/7. <laughs> yeah. uh, now, do you? Yeah, I'm on call 24/7. <laughs> do you um, uh, church services every Sunday morning? The church. Sometimes there's other services that are required. I go to hospitals and visit because most of the time people go to Louisville to the hospital there. Uh, but I also go to Indianapolis to do that. Plus funeral during the week. You can't predict when that's going to happen. So. Sure. You know, it's not unusual that a pastor would be a pastor for 50 years, but it is rather remarkable and or unusual that you'd be a pastor in this tiny little church 
this church for 50 years. I mean, uh, uh, the, the, the space here uh, must hold something special for you. Absolutely. Cecil, come tell about the church. Cecil's one of the oldest members in the church. And how long have you been a member here in this church? Uh, since 58. 1958? Yeah. Oh, my gosh. Uh, That's remarkable. Yeah, I've been here quite a few years. I guess you have. Uh, this church must mean something for you to be does. with it that long. Yeah. I mean, think about all the churches in the world. You chose this one over the last more than 60 years. I met my wife, and she went to this church. Of course, she passed away. I still contend this church. The cross is new, the newest part of the church. Oh, really? And uh, we had that made s several years ago. The three woods, the out outside of the darkest wood is mahogany. It reminds us of ancient wood, ancient times, ancient Old Testament. A lot of the inner line is cherry. That's cherry wood, which is a more modern wood. It's a hard wood. It's a solid wood comes to a homey place, it's coming to a place that's solid, a place that's hardcore, which would be our church. And then the lighter wood is sycamore. And if you move then toward the center of that compass that we spoke of earlier, it's difficult to see unless you're up close, but there's also the same four heads on the ends of those compasses in the middle there that look like arrowheads or spearheads on that compass and that reminds us that even the little things that we do to hurt others can be severe and that we need to be very careful in how we proclaim the message and how we take the word into the world that we don't do damage in using it. So there's a lot of meaning in that cross. Yes there is. And it's beautifully uh, it, it's it's a beautiful piece. That's a local a local yes. person made that. Yes, that makes it even more interesting to in Marengo uh, Indiana Yes. Uh, just what 20 some miles away yes. so that I mean it didn't come from overseas it didn't no. come from California that came from small town Marengo yeah. Indiana he's a craftsman he was a carpenter he's a craftsman all right yeah. floors original um, and that's and I see their wide plank wood which was typical of the yes. 1800s uh, the really the rough that. hewn and wide plank yeah that's really interesting original floors I love these old, these entrance doors. I can tell by even looking at, I'll bet they're original. Yep. Looking at the hinges. Yeah. yeah. No, double hinge. Double hinge. You're, you're looking at 1856 there. That's really neat. Uh, an old pump organ. Yeah, the modern I wonder, and the more modern one, but this reaches way back. I wonder how far back. That's old. It's, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. That's okay. Look at the woodwork on it. Sweet. Wow, an old pump organ. That's a neat old chair. Church. I got married in this church. 1958? Yeah. And that's that's the picture. There you are in your military uniform. Yeah. Getting married inside this church in 1958. What branch of the military did you serve? In the Army. Army. So you say you have a full-time practice in Louisville through the week. You just come here on Sundays and are the weekends? Yeah, I come here on su Sundays and other times during the week if I'm needed, like funerals and visitations, accidents, or whatever they need to pastor for them. You work with drug addicts and alcoholics through the week? Yeah, primarily. That's my caseload. That's what I see. Wow. I'll bet you don't r run out of clients. That's a bad yeah, word, clients. It's not the right word, but... That's the, that's the right word. Yeah. And unfortunately, the population's pretty thick. Yeah, I believe it. Which makes your title, job, service even more important. Well, my statement is, I listen to everybody all week. 15 minutes, you're going to listen to me. It's kind of a bad joke. <laughs> no, actually, it's a pretty good one. I'm glad it came from you rather than me. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. Love this place. I can see why you'd love this place. The way we did, we just redid the glass and had it re refurbished. 
and we had people donate and give money for the cause. And these plaques along, they pick the window, and these plaques tell you who they, in, in honor of or in memory of, and it's something about the person that they did the work. So. I, I love the woodwork in this old church. These, you know, the window frames, right. you're, you're, the, again, original, back to, eight, to the 1850s. And it's we just beautiful. To preserve the wood. You've done well to preserve it. Keep it intact. Yes, it's, it's so nice. We've had to put a few new sills in because they. they I I, I believe it, but the frame is very much intact. The internal stuff's pretty safe. Yeah, yeah, really neat. Look at the woodwork in this 1850s church. Look how wide the walls are. Look at that. That wall's a foot thick or more. It's beautiful. Ooh, look at the old back door. Again, original to 1850s. The old, how many hands have come across that old 1800s doorknob? If the walls could talk, how many times have I said that? There's plenty of stories to tell. Mm-hmm. I guess every 1850s church needs its own hand pump, water pump. backyard of the church just southern indiana and all its beauty and charm sweet corn forever yeah this is when you uh get get an idea of how old this place is look at the foundation the old stone block none of it the same size that's 1850s been holding this place up for Many, many years. What are you guys doing? I mean, what's your plans for the day? Anything? I mean, out of the ordinary. Yeah? You're a pretty feller. I, I like goat milk. Unless you're not a goat. <laughs> I don't want to insult you now. I mean, but you look fairly... You look happy. Is this your... Look at that cute little thing. Little baby horns. I wonder if that's, yes, yes, yes. I'm the friendly, you can tell, can't you? You can tell I'm here as a friend, fellow Americans. Yes. Well, I just wanted to say hello. Uh, I really enjoyed getting to know you guys. I wish you chatted a little more, but that's okay. I get it. And uh, I'll look forward to seeing you on the way back, maybe, possibly. All right, you guys have a great day. Bye now.